welcome back to my channel. Today I am finishing up some of the Christmas decorating and creating a cozy Christmas ambiance in our home. So I wanted to share some of what we were doing. We were also unpacking our brand new solo stove bonfire and chairs, which we were very excited about. So that took us some time to build and set up. We love to have bonfires outside all throughout the year. So we're excited for that, making some hot chocolate, gingerbread houses, and just getting cozy and in the holiday spirit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more videos from me. And let's go ahead and jump right in. When we moved to Tennessee, we packed minimal decor, but this was one of the things that we kept in our two Christmas boxes that we brought. And one of them had the tree that we got and this garland that we found at Hobby Lobby for like 50% off a few days after Christmas about five years ago. We love it because it has the lights already in it. It's really easy to set up for a front porch, whether it's around fencing or pillars, and it can be secured with zip tie, or sometimes we'll use uh, these like Velcro ties that work for securing it to the fencing. So as we were thinking about creating that ambiance in our front yard and also on our front porch, we got our solo stove fire pit in the mail and also the chairs. So something we wanted to take out, unpack and set up because we love to have a place to have bonfires and sit around outside and enjoy time outside all throughout the year. We were eager to get that set up and going as soon as possible. Definitely one of our goals. So um, we pulled everything out and started slowly building and getting that ready for our little fire pit bonfire area. It took some time to build everything, but once it was all built, we got to set it up near the garden to just enjoy the forest and have bonfires all throughout the year. These chairs are amazing because later in the night, we ended up making hot chocolate. Of course, one of the kids spilled on the chairs and it was a quick and easy wipe. Super sturdy, awesome, so excited to have this space. I love to have a place to just come and sit in the sun in the day or build a fire and enjoy time with my family at night. So we were just really excited to create this space, um, which brings beautiful, cozy ambiance throughout the year. This year I decided to get a few goodies from Walmart and pretty good prices there. So I, I got this tree for the front porch that I really like. It's another one of those very easy to set up and stack Christmas trees. And I thought that this would look really nice on the front porch next to the door. I also got a small live tree to kind of do the different size trees. I saw some really great wood pieces at Walmart that I gravitated towards like this one that says Noel. So I'm gonna hang that and then the wreath over that. And then I'm going to add like a few bows and poinsettias just to add a little bit of color to the front porch. This year I wanted to combine some whimsical elements with some vintage, rustic feel and just, yeah, make it just feel like home, cozy, cute. And so adding this pop of color really just made the whole front of the house look absolutely darling. So we really love how everything turned out. And we also made a welcome sign back in the summer that works all year round, but we wanted to cover the sunflower and make it feel a little bit more holiday themed. Um, my mom got us this candy cane for the window, so we put that up. Moving inside, I love to create ambiance with Christmas candles. I got this great piece from Walmart as well. So any new decor I got this year, I got from Walmart. Um, there was just a few cute things that I had to pick up, this being one of them for the coffee table. And then I also love to simmer some cranberries, some cinnamon, and then some clippings from the wreath that we got from Trader Joe's just to make the house smell good. Some Christmassy essential oils like cedarwood or balsam fir to put in the diffuser just to get the house smelling absolutely wonderful. And then, um, yeah, and then just setting up some of the decor. Now I got some of it up earlier like these pieces that I found from Walmart how cute are these two cardinals I loved this and then like I said I was gravitating towards the wood pieces like this 12 foot garland the wood garland um, that I found at Walmart and I just loved how this felt really vintage and minimal I didn't put 
too many ornaments on the tree this year. I only put ornaments that that kind of meant something to us that were either gifts from family members or places that we've been, um, ornaments that have family photos. And so we kept it really minimal on the tree, but I really love this garland. I thought it was just, it was so great. So to complete our holiday decor and also get into the Christmas spirit, we decided to make some gingerbread houses, which is a special request from my son Isaiah, who really, really wanted to make one. So I made sure to pick one up at Walmart. And then I wanted to make hot chocolate. Of course, I'm obsessed with this frother thing right now and I'm making like everything in it. And you can add milk and this Starbucks hot chocolate and it makes the best hot chocolate. Oh my goodness. It mixes it up and it's just so delicious. It warms it up perfect. So I made one for each of the boys um, while we finished up the gingerbread houses. There was a little bit more garland that we wanted to put on the stairs and also put a wreath that um, my mom got for us from Trader Joe's when she was out here visiting. We're going to put that on the top of the stairs just to kind of finish up the decor for the night and then we're going to go enjoy our hot chocolate out at the bonfire. What I love about decorating and just creating an ambiance for any home is every home just kind of has a different feel. So bringing out that special feel in the home. One thing in Tennessee that I love is the cardinals that come out this time of the year. They are just such a joyful pop of color during the winter months. And so I was inspired by pops of color, a little bit of red, um, going a little bit whimsical, but also keeping that vintage, cozy, warm feel when it came to Christmas decor this year. So that was our inspiration for this year. Also, we were very eager and excited to get our solo stove bonfire seating bundle up with the four chairs and the bonfire. They all came together. The chairs are amazing because like I said, we had a little spillage, super easy cleanup. So I know that they're gonna be great for our outside. And we love a space like this in any home. So we're just really excited to have that. Um, so that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, I try to upload every single week. So please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, tell me where you're from, tell me your name, uh, tell me, you know, what's your style that you're decorating this year for Christmas? What kind of vibe are you going for? Have you finished all your decorating? Oh my gosh, have you finished all your shopping? Um, let me know in the comments below and I will see you very soon in the next video. I hope you have a great day.